I'm, a, I'm Russell Hedrick. I'm a first generation farmer from North Carolina. We started farming our operation in 2012. We started predominantly with just row crop. Didn't really know anything about soil health. Uh, had issues with winter weeds, water erosion. Uh, went to my local soil and water district and really was just looking to combat those issues. Uh, found a really great guy named Lee Holcomb and Lee was introducing me to cover crops, rotational grazing, uh, different things that we had never heard of. At that point in time, you know, not a lot of soil health videos, information out there. So Lee was really a, a driving factor in our farm going down a regenerative path, even though we didn't even understand all the aspects of, of what we were doing. So we started, you know, farming like everybody else, conventional, uh, heavy chemicals, lots of fertilizer, uh, high input farming, trying to get maximum yield. And, you know, by the second year that we started farming, we really started looking at what's our return on investment? Um, can we use cover crops to suppress weeds and cut out a chemical application? I got introduced to a guy named Rick Haney, and it was one of those things where it was a relative new soil test compared to what, you know, our state had used for a long time for Melig 3 and it really showed us on our operation that we could use a different soil sample and kind of mimic nature. So our regenerative path was, you know, starting out conventional uh, farming, uh, switched, uh, you know, we're all no-till, started integrating cover crops, uh, met a crazy guy named Ray Archuleta, and he really led us down the path of, of livestock integration, um, other farmers looking at, you know, vertical integration of our operation. So for us, what's been the, <clears throat> what's been the biggest key for us is looking at return on investment. And where we do that is nutrient management. Uh, we utilize the Haney test on all of our operation. We still use uh, state Millic 3 test to kind of compare that to what Rick's test calls for. And, you know, for the average producer and what we've seen on our farm, you can cut back your inputs anywhere from 50 to $100 an acre. Uh, scaling that over a large operation, that's a massive amount of money. Then we started looking at case studies. We got involved with the NRCS Tech Center in Greensboro, and they did a case study on our farm. We really looked at you know time of, time of investment in learning about these new techniques, these regenerative practices and really put a pencil and a bottom line to what we were you know, utilizing. And what we found out is our cost savings per acre with this case study was about $200 an acre. And for the average farmer in the US, you know, I think 2018, 2019, their return on investment was about $20 an acre. Um, so that's a massive amount of money that we're able to save on our operation. So as we've went through this regenerative path, we've integrated livestock, We've integrated cover crops on all of our acres. Um, you know, the one thing that I want to say to farmers is there's no silver bullet. It's not always an easy year. Uh, we have the same issues as every other farmer, whether it be too dry, too wet. Um, but cover crops really have mitigated that issue for us that if it's a wet spring, cover crops do use some of the soil moisture, which allows us to get into the field to plant earlier. If it's a dry spring, we'll terminate cover crops earlier and get that mat rolled down to the ground to conserve moisture and reduce our soil temperatures. So it really does change our operation every year on how we manage that. Our biggest thing is, is pest management. Um, you know, we haven't really had to spray insecticides or fungicides since 2014. Um, you know, for us, we look at um, our biologicals uh, as, as a driving force on our farm whether it be breaking down fertilizer, uh, whether we're utilizing beneficial insects to combat some of our predator insects like worms, aphids, uh, kudzu bugs in our area have, has been a thing that's really ramped up the last couple of years. And you know, really for us, just looking at, at the data and the tools, working with uh, Continuum Ag now, uh, using topsoil, being able to put our, our data that we've honestly, even in the first years that was handwritten, uh, that we can put that into the program and really get a benchmark of where our operation was versus now and where we want to take our operation in the future.